What's up, everybody? JJ with jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball 8 box jumbo case break. Pikachu's number nine on our website. It's a full case of Topps Chrome. Find five autographs per hobby jumbo box. So it's a total of 40 autographs at least in here. And again, here are the customer names in there. So you have a little character sign at the end of your name. That means you won that in a little team filler. And if you buy them straight up, you are in there as well. Yeah, the obsidian have been moving pretty quickly. I'd like to do some of that. We were extremely busy yesterday, guys. Like, we were like three hours behind schedule yesterday. So, um, let's try to. I'm not saying let's get three hours behind schedule, but let's fill up some more breaks so that way it keeps us busy. You know, there's potential for us to stay busy. I know the new releases may have some people buy into pre-orders, but that's okay as long as. And getting into something helps move the break for the future as well. But if you want to get into something that's going to break today, Obsidian can break today. The gold standard can break today. Um, like I said, the closest, next closest break just straight up is selling out that last cello pack to unlock the case break of Revolution Basketball. We got Junior Fernandez, green. And Mike King, look at that gold rookie autograph, 41 out of 50 for the Yankees. Boba Shett, refractor. We got a base Kyle Lewis auto. Luis Robert. Lewis base, Gavin Lux, Brennan Rogers, a purple Vladdy Jr. Michael Baez.
Sam Hillier. Miguel Cabrera. Gratterall. Alright, there's the first one, guys. All right, there you go, guys. Those are the first five autos. Let's go to the next one. Just want to top load all this so that way I have to do this later in the in the break. Next box. I got Javier Baez. Seventy five. On the Cooney Junior. Nice and the Luis Roberts. Refractor. Smokey. This, this, pack, this pack had a bunch of cards sticking to each other, so try my best to get all them all out. Jordan. Jordan again. Aquino. Dustin May. Shohei Otani. 
Love it, chat. Andres Munoz. Travis Demerant. And Jonathan Hernandez for Texas. Stack here. We got a green coming up, and it's Carlos Correa. You got Leva, Christian Yelich. Nico Horner. And we got Anthony K. Toronto Blue Jays, Walker Bueller. Chris Paddock, Aquino. And Adbert Alzole. News Prism. And nice, little refractor of Aquino autograph. Robert Bass. And the refractor Kino is 268 out of 499. Who has the Reds? Matthew. There you go, brother. Showing the basketball games on oh, there it is. So many sixers. All right, next box, guys. I'm pretty excited later, guys, for the Clippers uh, Mavericks game. Kind of hope the Mavericks upset.
Next box, guys. What do we got? What do we got? Abraham Toro. Green to 99. Jake Rogers. Brandon McKay. Dustin May. Bichette. A Rod, Noah Syndergaard, Chris Bryant, Jonathan Hernandez, auto for Texas, Charles with that one, Danny Mendick, crazy auto, Leva. Soto, Fino, Collins, Schwarber, Prism, Kevin Bizio, negative, German Marquez, Lindor, James Marvel. Dave El Zole, Ron Acuna Jr. Freshman Flash and another refractor of Luis Robert. Those are going to add up, Smokey. Those refractors will add up. And we got Andres Munoz for the Padres. Charles with that one. It's a 250. He's Alonzo. And another Anthony K auto. Alright, let me sleeve these ones, guys. All right, sweet. Next one. All right, this will be halfway through, guys. Chrome should have a box topper, Tyler. That'd be cool. They do. I think Archives will have a box topper when it comes out. If I remember correctly. Or is it Heritage? One of those two. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, next box. Eloy Jimenez, green to 99. Aquidi, Ron Acuna Jr. Nico, Refractor Nico, Dubon Prism. We got a gold twins Bruce Dard Gratteroff to fifty. And Jake Rogers auto for Detroit. Going to Tyler. And an orange Boba Shed. That's pretty strong. 12 out of 25. Is that Gallo? Logan Allen. Logan Webb. Robert Bates. And here's a little Ronald Acuna Jr. A little retro relic. For Ronald Acuna Jr. and the Braves. It's going to Eric. And it is game used as well. Very nice. They each had their own. I wrote on one of them. Um, the name? The name that won it, and then the other one I just wrote the team, but the one with the name is for the second mixture, which was the sweetness one. Okay. It'll say the name matches the sheet, obviously. But okay. the second, the first one, the first one with the mini helmet and the jersey is for the Heisman. I put them together, though. Okay. Yeah, just look at the, make sure it matches, though, obviously. Can you just write the name for mom? Yeah, okay.
Okay. I'll take a look. Alright, halfway through, guys. All right, next one, guys. Kino, Honus Wagner, Savelle, Mike Trout. Brandon McKay, Dubon Refractor, K, Prism. And Jesus Lazardo. Scherzer, AJ Puck. Robert Duggar for the Marlins. It's going to Ryan Redman. Got an orange coming up. And it's Jose Altuve. Goes good with those cheating Astros. 15 out of 25. Pronounce that T's. Kyle Lewis. And Jose Rodriguez, Angels. Which have two more autos on this, I guess. You got Abreu for Houston. And Broussard Gratterall. Purple for the Twins. And we got another relic. George Brett. Kansas City Royals. Retro. Rookie relic. And that was like one of the last teams in the team random. Barry Roberts. There you go. Very nice. Freshman Flash. Austin Meadows negative. Lozardo. You don't see it, Seth Brown.
Tyler Alexander, Tyler. All right, man. I got you one Tiger so far, but I know that Alexander kid was pretty good, right? Pitcher, I believe. So I have at least 15 more autos. That's a good thing. All right. Next one. Our next box, guys. Good luck. Kettle Marte. Art to prove the D backs. Kino, Nico Horner. Luis Robert. Andres Munoz, blue. Number to 150. And garlic for the Dodgers. Jose Urena. Really? For what sport, Kyle? Baseball go with the Dodgers, you know, being here in LA, uh, a lot of my family members have been Dodger fans. Um, so just being here in LA, I just go for the Dodgers. Although I love Mike Trout, even though I probably shouldn't, but I just appreciate a very, very talented uh, baseball player. But I would say I'm a Dodgers fan. Um, football and hockey are my two favorite sports, so not that I don't really pay attention to baseball so much, but um, their, their season is just so long, so I just kind of wait for the playoffs to happen. But yeah, I'm a big Eagles fan. And same thing. Family members got me into the Eagles at the time when I was a little kid and not having any uh, football teams in the mid-90s here when I was a kid um, pulled me to, to the Eagles. So I always just stayed as an Eagles fan since uh, since I first seen Donovan McNabb play as a rookie. No. 
I'm a little I'm a little around everywhere when it comes to other sports just because like I said the other sports weren't here so like football college wise I always hated USC just because a lot of my family members did it and I just thought they were overrated so I always tell people this too I love the color green so as a kid I got attracted to the Seattle Sonics I got attracted to the Oregon Ducks so football wise Philly I love the Kings diehard Kings fan here in LA Although I don't have anything against the Flyers. But. Kings and Dodgers for me here. And Philly would be the outside one. And Seattle Sonics, Bo. I just stuck cheering for the Thunder. Oh. Well, I didn't have to think of for for Kings because they were here already. Yeah, Minnesota Wild would be the green team, I guess. So, oh no, I'm thinking LA Kings, baby, LA Kings. <laughs> now, hockey and football were pretty much LA Kings. Philly for Eagles and then baseball Dodgers. So basketball I like the Sonics, but they moved to OKC and I always tell this to like <laughs> true Sonics lovers and especially that they live in Seattle. They hate that I'm a Thunder fan, but I always just figured I'd follow Duran and Westbrook to OKC, so I just still root for them. Which I'm hoping they upset the Houston Rockets, that'd be nice. They had a 0.002% chance of making the playoffs when they traded Paul George and Russell Westbrook out of OKC. And look at them now. They're the fifth seed playing against the Rockets. It's pretty amazing. I know, man. That, that sucked. I'm, I'm sure also another reason why a lot of big Sonics fans hate the Thunder as well. I get it, though, man. You know, the owner was giving mixed, mixed thoughts. The city didn't want to pay for the arena. Abreu. Yeah, and then just the Thunder's young talent, like Shea, all them coming together, even Darius Vasley in this draft. Steven Adams always been a productive player. And just to think that they're going to be so extremely loaded coming with Clippers draft picks, coming with the Rockets draft picks. Like in the next five years, they're going to get some seriously good talent in the first round. Tony Gonsolin. So, I like the direction they're headed for sure. Got to build within the draft again, just like you did with Westbrook and Durant, Serge, James Harden. Can you believe that, guys? Like, they drafted all those players through the draft. And at one point, you had the last, what, couple MVPs in one team. At one point, Juan Soto, negative. Robert yeah I mean that's the one thing is that they could get rid of some of these draft picks to to trade for some stars to come to OKC. It's just so hard for someone to 
want to play in OKC, and I'm not trying to say OKC isn't a place to live, but you know, it's not a big market city, and you know, so a lot of these players tend to leave too. I honestly didn't think Chris Paul was going to stay and play in OKC, but it ended up working out pretty perfect. But yeah, they can all they can do a lot of a lot of different things with their draft picks. They could trade for a big player, trade up in the draft if they need to. Although typically it doesn't really happen so much in NBA, it's just more swapping picks, but pretty pretty good spot for the OKC Thunder to be in. They're in the playoffs, <laughs> you know, lo losing two of your biggest stars. You know, I, I love that they traded and got Shea Gilgis Alexander. That did so good. You still have Steven Adams who's still only like twenty six years old, which is pretty amazing. They got some pieces on their on their team that I mean if they can if they can compete in the West and make the playoffs every year, that's pretty good. Although I think if they were to create a Vegas or Seattle team, they should be going to the East. It only makes sense. Alright guys, last box. Good luck. Lamar Jackson is the best QB in the league MVP. What's up? <laughs> nice username. All right, guys, so after this, we just got to do a quick little hanger to give away some mixer spots. And then hopefully, we are uh, moving some other breaks that we can still do today. David Peralta. Michael Byers. Dylan Cease for the White Sox. And another Kyle Lewis. Nice. Two for the Mariners for EA. Alright, we got two more autos, guys. Good luck. Got a Buster Posey, 12 out of 50, gold.
Sam Hiller. Giants when a Chris Parent to four ninety nine. Luis Roberts. Alright guys, and there you go. Let's go through some of these hits and a recap. Again, no Luis Robert autos, but again, you got a couple good refractors, which are definitely going to help pay for the spot. And definitely get them graded, because I know the greater refractors are going to go for a ton. And a lot of these do add up. So let's quickly go through that. So again, these are all just refractors, rookies, inserts that'll be top loaded. It's a ton of this stuff. And then let me quickly top load the autographs. Yeah, I mean, the refractors are strong. I know PSA 10s probably would go for a good amount. And at the at the time, I too remember when it first came out, people were almost making their money back pretty much with just them selling raw, which is pretty amazing to think about. All right, guys. Alrighty guys, so here you go. Do a little recap here. So here were the Boba Chat Refractor. Here were the color cards. So green Fernandez, gold Posey, Peralta Purple, negative Soto, blue Castillo, blue Marte, negative Meadows, Jose Altuve Orange, Jimenez Green, Marquez negative, Correa Green, Toro Green, Baez Blue, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Purple. And here was our Luis Robert stack. You got Freshman Flash insert, two retros. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then two refractors. And if you count a nine, 
smoke. Yeah, I don't remember getting nine. Maybe it's some mixed in here. I don't think so. Oh, some autos in there. Oh, what are these autos doing here? Jesus. That element came today, so we could break it too. Oh yeah, Marina sent me a slack, but do you want? Do I have to replace it when we get when she refunds it? No, you just take them out of the spots over. Okay, so then you or someone else already did it. Yeah. Okay. So guys, elements came today after all. I guess our tracking was a little off, but it came today, so we can break elements today if uh, we fill it up. Well, I think Smokey meant nine total, which that makes sense. But yeah, these will all be top loaded too, guys. Now, let's go through the autos, guys. Now here are the autos. Monteros, Gonsal and Blue, Post, Demer Refractor, Abreu Auto, Wong Refractor, Hilliard, Lewis Base, C Space, Baez, Zach Collins, Baez again, Fraley, Urena Green, that should have been in the other stack over here. Garlic, you got Munoz Blue, Gratterall Purple. Abreu base, Rodriguez, Duggar, Lazardo, a retro rookie relic of George Brett for the Kansas City Royals, Rogers, Gratterall uh, Gold, Webb, Logan Allen, Zach Gallion, Bo Bichette, which is a pretty nice one there out of 25, Orange, Ronald Coon Jr., retro relic for the uh, Atlanta Braves, Jonathan Hernandez, Mendick, Anthony Kay, Andres Munoz, Purple, Marvel, Alzole, Kay, Aquino, Refractor, Hernandez, Munoz again, uh, Gradwell, Hiller, Baez, Lewis Base, and uh, Mike King for the Yankees Gold. So there you go, guys. This was the uh, eight-box case break of Chrome Baseball Jumbo on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Appreciate it, guys.